A dishwasher's drain pump is the component that removes the water from the tank by forcing the water through a drain hose to a disposer or drain pipe during the drain cycle. If you find water pooling near the front of the dishwasher tank after the drain and drying cycles have completed, the drain pump can be tested for continuity to help determine if the component is working properly. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the pump. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the pump is faulty. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform a continuity test. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the leads together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. It will probably be easier to remove the dishwasher from the cabinet and uninstall the drain pump to test it. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Unthread the screws or detach the fasteners so you can remove the dishwasher's lower access panel or panels. Set any insulation aside. Unthread the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Unthread the wire nuts to detach the power wires and release the grounding wire as well. Unthread the power cord strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Unthread the mounting screws securing the dishwasher to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. To move the dishwasher, you may need to raise the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. You may need to tip the dishwasher onto its rear panel for better access to the drain pump. To uninstall the drain pump, you will need to disconnect the wire connector or connectors. Then rotate the pump counterclockwise to release it from the sump. With the pump uninstalled, contact the black meter lead to one of the pump terminals and the red lead to the other terminal. The meter display should indicate 15 to 40 ohms of resistance if the pump is functioning properly. However, if the meter display shows little or no change, 
then the pump has no electrical continuity and the part will need to be replaced. When installing a new pump or reinstalling the old one, align it on the sump and rotate clockwise to lock it into place. Connect the wire connector or connectors. If applicable, return the appliance to its upright position. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Rethread the screws to secure the appliance to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the power cord in the junction box, then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Secure the grounding wire. Join the appropriate power wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover and rethread the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Replace any insulation. Reposition the lower access panel or panels and secure the screws or fasteners. With the dishwasher fully reinstalled, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power.